Welcome to Corgius Movius. Ariel is a princess of the Mare people of Atlantica and the youngest child of King Triton, who rules over them. Despite never having been there, Triton forbids all Mare people from surfacing there after Ariel's mother was killed by a human, she is fascinated by the human world. Ariel surfaces to observe some fireworks one night after spotting them above the water. They arrive on Eric's ship, which is owned by the prince of a nearby island. The ship runs aground on rocks during a storm, forcing everyone to run for the lifeboats. Eric is saved by Ariel, who also sings with a siren's voice to save his life as she carries him to land. Before he can fully recover consciousness, she runs away. Triton questions his advisor Sebastian the Crab after observing Ariel's sluggish behavior, and he responds that she just saved a person. Triton is furious and goes to Ariel's grotto to confront her. When she won't swear to never go back to the surface, he destroys her collection of human artifacts. Later, two more eels sent by the sea witch Ursula, Triton's estranged sister and Ariel's aunt who was exiled from Atlantica fifteen years earlier, approach Ariel. Ariel is offered a deal at Ursula's lair, she will become a human for three days, after which she must receive a true love's kiss to stay human forever. If Ariel fails, she will revert to her mermaid form and be taken by Ursula. Ariel must give up her tail, her ability to breathe underwater, and her siren voice in order to become a human, Ursula will preserve the last of these in a nautilus shell. Deal is accepted by Ariel. She is brought to the surface by Sebastian, Sergeant Major Flounder, and her best friend after getting human legs. She is saved and taken to Eric's castle in the human world. Eric rushes to meet Ariel after spending time looking for the person who saved his life. She doesn't speak, though, and he immediately turns away. Ariel stumbles upon Eric's collection of possessions while exploring the castle. Eric spends time looking through his collection with her. The following day, Eric takes Ariel on a tour of the kingdom. Sebastian, who has been following Ariel, discovers that Ursula has included a trick in the spell that makes Ariel forget she needs to kiss Eric. Flounder and Scuttle, a northern gannet, join Sebastian in trying to persuade the couple to make out. They come close to succeeding, but Ursula's eels stop them. Ursula transforms into a person and hypnotizes Eric using Ariel's siren voice in a fit of rage over the near miss. Triton, who is now back in Atlantica, orders the kingdom to look for Ariel and starts to feel bad about how he treated her. The following morning, Ariel and her pals learn that later that day, Eric will announce his engagement to Vanessa, Ursula's alter ego. Rushing to the engagement party, Ursula is confronted by Ariel, who then breaks the shell. She regains her voice, and Eric's enchantment is destroyed. Before they can share a kiss, the sun sets, and Ariel returns to her mermaid form. Ursula transforms back into herself and drags Ariel back into the water, Triton confronts Ursula in an effort to save Ariel. She made a deal with Ariel, but it cannot be broken. To Ariel's horror, Triton gives himself as payment for her, and the eels turn him into dust. When Eric shows up, Ursula claims Triton's trident, during the ensuing brawl, Ursula unintentionally kills her eels. She grows larger with the trident in a fit of rage and summons a storm to harm Ariel and Eric. Ariel boards a surfaced ship and uses its broken bowsprit to impale Ursula while Eric diverts Ursula's attention. Triton revives after Ursula passes away, and both he and Ariel are aware of the other's sacrifice on their behalf, when Ariel gets home, she is upset that Eric isn't there. Ariel rejoins Eric after Triton permanently changes her into a human on Sebastian's advice. With their parents' approval and the assistance of those from both of their worlds, the couple decides to travel together. Thanks for watching video subscribe for more videos.